What up, everybody? It's iPadBeatMaking.com here today on Friday, December 25th, 2020, giving you some news you can use. First off, Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates it and Happy Holidays to all. Hopefully you and your family are safe and y'all got everything you wanted and hopefully you're creating some good memories with each other. Now before we begin, please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this video as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, updates, beats, and more. Now there are some rumors that there will be an M3 chip released on an iPad Pro and we understand that M is just a marketing term that Apple's come up with for their Macs and that the A and the M have similarities in terms of architecture with the M being more optimized for the Mac. That's at least how we understand it. But what stands out to us is that there are Thunderbolt controllers built into the M chips and it makes us wonder if the next iPad Pro will be Thunderbolt enabled. That would be really cool. This would give you access to a whole nother class of device, and it might sound too good to be true, but USB-C used to seem too good to be true also, so we wanna know what you think. Do you think that they'll bring Thunderbolt iPads to market in the coming year? And if so, how do you think that will change the way that iPad is perceived in terms of audio and video production? Do you think that takes it up to another level? If this is true, this is very exciting news. We want to know your thoughts, so let us know down in the comments below. Now, there are tons of really, really nice updates, and it seems like developers have been wanting us to have the happiest holidays possible. And first of all, we've got AUM, which has added a bunch of new features, including a control finder, which allows you to tweak an AUV3 parameter to find and show its MIDI control. Bluetooth MIDI setup button and the MIDI matrix for faster access. Improved instance name editor for AEV3 plugins now with a color picker and more. And there's also been a ton of improvements. So if you are an AUM user or have been thinking about getting the AUM app, that's great news for you. And next up, we've got Audio Evolution Mobile Studio who has added a virtual analog synthesizer Evolution 1 featuring morphing oscillators FM, sub, OSC, noise, portamento, two LFOs that can be routed to 12 targets, Moog type filtering, effects, ARP, sequencer, and more, which is incredible in itself, but they've also added Vocal Tune Pro, which is a much higher quality pitch correction effect for vocals than the original Vocal Tune. It also features the ability to add artificial vibrato and displays pitch deviation. It shares the same in-app purchase as the original Vocal Tune, so if you already own Vocal Tune, then Vocal Tune Pro is free. They also solved an issue with parameters from AEV3 effects made by manufacturer DDMF not being saved with the project, and when two AEV3 effects with the same name were present, loading a project could choose the wrong one, which has also been solved, and when playing a virtual instrument with the loop enabled, notes would cut off at the end of the loop, and that's also been solved. So this is a very substantial update, with the standouts of it obviously being that they've added an entire virtual instrument and a much better auto-tune effect than the previous one, and it's absolutely free if you grab that previous in-app purchase. Very good news, very generous developer, we appreciate it. And in another app update, years of waiting in the making, Groove Rider GR16 has added AEV3 support. Now you can use fully sized GR16 audio unit inside of any AEV3 host with almost the same functionality as in standalone version, excluding chain, song mode, and some export functions. They've also added MIDI in and 16 channel MIDI out for AEV3. Multi output audio unit is also included. Use up to eight assignable audio buses, including the master bus. You can import samples and folders directly from the Files app dialog for both standalone and AEV3. User folder is renamed to samples and moved to the top of the folder list for user convenience. Some factory bank A presets were improved and replaced to sound better. Lots of bug fixes because the main parts of the sequencer engine were rewritten from scratch, which is huge. So if you are a Groove Rider GR16 user, I know you're happy right now. Be sure to support that developer. That is awesome news. Now Cosmonaut has been updated to fix a problem with huge buffer sizes over 1024. 
and they now support Global Cross Host AEV3 presets. Ravenscroft 275 Piano has fixed the crash when using Bluetooth. KB1 Keyboard Suite has a new arpeggiator. Classic uniform scale string and chord layouts can now make use of a powerful arpeggiator. They've also added new scales. Harmonic and melodic minor scales are now available in the string, scale, and chord layouts. And they've improved the user interface. Great news for that app. And FAC Alteza, I hope I'm saying that right, Alteza. Addition of multiple output support, stage three can be routed to an external bus. Both size knobs are now merged into a single parameter. Addition of new presets, improvement of the reverb engine. Phase Delay Array has added support for running on Apple Silicon Mac computers. For you early adopters, you can run that plugin on your M1 Mac. Beathawk has added full support of iPad screens. Fix Mono Audio Output Issue. Fix Ableton Live Set Export. And Fix AUV3 Display Issues. AdStation has improved workflow for saving presets. Tonally has a performance optimization and smaller bug fixes. Decent Samples has a bunch of bug fixes and a new instrument, Slinky Violin. Cork Module Pro has added a new expansion sound pack, 80s Dance Pop. They've also had a bug fix for user programs were not being loaded correctly, which I can attest was a problem. It was really weird, but I'm glad that that's fixed. Layer multi timbral Synthesizer has minor optimizations, implemented support for mouse pointer and minor bug fixes. And of course, the talk of the town right now. Cubasis has been updated to 3.2. It already goes without saying. We did a whole video on this. You can find it here. But the biggest things are that they added keyboard support, QWERTY keyboard that is, support. So now you have keyboard shortcuts and things like that. And they've collaborated with Waves yet again to bring you the H Delay plugin as well as a version of Waves Tune RT. So, been playing with that app. It's really cool. Lots of new features under the hood also that I'm not even going to mention right now because it's going to take up too much time. And we've already spoken on them on this video here. So, be sure to check that out if that interests you. Now, since we're talking about Cubases, we're in the holiday spirit and we have a really cool template for you Cubases 3.2 users. If you own a Senso Morph with a music production overlay, you are in luck. We've got this thing mapped out to the max. It can do so much. You really barely need to touch the screen at all and you don't have to be relegated to the keyboard. The drum pads are all assigned to the pads in Cubases. It's also MPE if you want it to be or it's not MPE, you can turn that on and off. Obviously, you can also control if you want velocity on your stuff or not. And you can scroll through the different tracks and the items on the tracks very, very easily and fluidly with this Sensomorph layout that we've put together. So be sure to check out iPadBeatMaking.com and go grab that. We've got more details on it. We'll leave a link down in the description to grab that. Be sure to check that out. It will be free for y'all until the end of 2020. We hope you enjoy. Please let us know what you think about it. What can we do to tweak it, make it better? You know, let us know. And with all that said, let us move on to sales. There are so many sales. First off, we've got Wavestorm, which was $7.99. It's now $2.99. Backpack Studio was $9.99, it's now $4.99. Flip Sampler, brought to you by legendary YouTuber Andrew Huang, is $7.99 down from $9.99. Is that how you say it? Yonik? Yonak? Yes, they have their apps on sale currently. Cauldron was $9.99, it's down to $4.99. Galileo Oregon was $29.99, it's $14.99. Magellan was $14.99, it's $6.99. Tone Stack was $9.99, it's $4.99. Magellan Synthesizer 2 was $14.99, it's currently $6.99. Caspar was $19.99, it's down to $9.99. Galileo Organ 2 was $14.99, it's down to $6.99. Roxin Guitar Synthesizer was $19.99, it's currently $9.99. Steel Guitar was $0.99 cents and it's free. Tone Stack Go was 99 cents and it's also free. 
next up we've got a sale from developer police and they've got their police alpha synthesizer which was $14.99 down to $12.99 police delay was $4.99 it's down to $3.99 their reverb was $4.99 it's also down to $3.99 and their shimmer was $7.99 and it's down to $5.99. Sidekick was $7.99 and it's also down to $5.99. Their filter was $4.99 and it's down to $3.99. Motion EQ was $4.99 and it's down to $3.99. Their course was $7.99 and it's down to $5.99. Saturator was $7.99 and it's down to $5.99. Bleece Flanger was $7.99 and it's also down to $5.99. Their compressor was $4.99 and it's down to $3.99. Audio Kit is back with yet another sale and the best part is they've brought some of those special edition, limited edition, those apps that cost $100 at different points. They've now made them affordable for all again. So Audio Kit Digital D1 was $4.99, it's down to $3.99. Their 808 synth, which is a must grab, was $99.99, it's currently $3.99. Their Hey Metronome app was $0.99 cents and it's currently free. Their limited edition app number two, Retro Piano, which I love for its very unique sound, was $99.99, it's currently $3.99. And Audio Tune, which was $99.99, is now $3.99. And these are all great apps, so be sure to check them out. And App Developer 4 Pockets has put some of their apps on sale. Digisticks was $8.99, it's currently $6.99. Vocal Soloist AEV3 was $6.99, it's currently $4.99. Evolver Effects AEV3 was $9.99, it's currently $6.99. MIDI Strummer was $7.99, it's currently $6.99. New Rack AEV3 was $12.99, it's currently $8.99. DigiKeys was $8.99, and it's currently $6.99. Visual EQ Console AEV3 plugin was $5.99 and it's currently $4.99. Analyzer and Tuner was $5.99 and it's currently $4.99. Slow Mo Effects was $6.99 and it's currently $4.99. MIDI Mixer for AUM was $6.99, it's currently $5.99. Drum Surgeon AEV3 was $5.99 and it's currently $4.99. Visual Multiband Compressor was $7.99 and it's currently $5.99. And moving on, Melisynth and FX was $9.99 and it's currently $4.99. And NFM was $9.99 and it's currently $4.99. Now, Kronos Remote was $32.99 and it's currently $21.99. And GeoShred Pro was $24.99 and it's currently $14.99. And also the Geo Swarm saxophone expansion, which is usually $14.99, is currently $2.99, which I definitely recommend grabbing. And that's applicable to all the different versions of Geo Shred. So whichever one you have, be sure to grab that for it. And Sugar Bites has also put some of their apps on sale with Tornado going from $19.99 to $11.99. Effectrix, which was $17.99, is now $10.99. Cyclops for iPad was $24.99, it's $13.99. Thesis was $14.99, it's currently $8.99. Egoist was $29.99, it's currently $17.99. While Filterbox was $14.99, and it's $7.99. Unique for iPhone was $4.99, and it's $1.99. Unique for iPad was $14.99, and it's currently $7.99. Now, Nimbrini has also decided to join the sales, putting their Delay 3000 Vintage Modern on sale for $4.99 when it was $9.99. Soundmaster Custom 2 was $19.99. It's currently $9.99. BST1 was $19.99, and it's currently $9.99. Analog Rack Equalizer was $3.99, and it's $1.99. MRH810 Lead Series was $19.99. It's currently $9.99. Analog Rack Reverb was $3.99, it's currently $1.99. Cali Reverb for Modern High Gain was $19.99, and it's currently $9.99. Analog Rack Fuzz was $3.99, and it's currently $1.99. The Boss LED Dial Distortion was $4.99, and it's $2.99. Analog Rack Screamer was $3.99, and it's now $1.99. 
8180 Monster Tube was $19.99, it's currently $9.99. Analog Rack Compressor was $3.99, it's $1.99. PSA 1000 was $19.99, and it's currently $9.99. Analog Rack Flanger was $3.99, and it's $1.99. Cali Dual 3 Channels was $19.99, and it's $9.99. Analog Rack Guitar Equalizer was $3.99 and it's currently $1.99. Analog Rack Tremolo was $3.99, it's $1.99. And Analog Rack Phaser was also $3.99 and it's also $1.99. Next up we've got developer Kai Aras who have also put their apps on sale with the KB1 Keyboard Suite which was $9.99 down to $4.99. Bolt Synth which was $19.99 down to $9.99. Shockwave, which was $19.99, also down to $9.99. RP1 Delay was $5.99, and it's down to $2.99. RE1 Tape Machine, which was $9.99, is down to $4.99. Agonizer, which is an incredible app that was brought with the collaboration of YouTuber Jacob Hack that we all know and love, was $19.99, and it's down to $9.99. RF1 Reverb was $5.99 and it's down to $2.99. MM1 Mute Master was $7.99 and it's down to $3.99. Idolizer was $9.99 and it's down to $4.99. RM1 Wave Modulator was $7.99, it's down to $3.99. FD1 Filter Delay was $9.99, it's down to $4.99. SF1 Stereo Filter was $5.99 and it's down to $2.99 and VC1 course was $5.99 and it's also down to $2.99. Lots of great apps from them, be sure to check them out. Now, Gospel Musicians or Medicalous, however you know them in the App Store, has got Basilicious 2 on sale from $14.99 to $7.99. Neo Soul Key Studio was $19.99, it's down to $9.99. And Neo Soul Key Studio 2 was $24.99, it's down to $10.99 ifx rack was 9.99 and it's down to 4.99 and impulsation was 12.99 and it's down to 7.99 and app developer fred corvis has also joined the sales with the fac course which was 3.99 now down to 2.99 fac maxima from 8.99 down to 5.99 transient from 8.99 also down to 5.99 bandit also from $8.99 down to $5.99. Alteza was $8.99 and it's down to $4.99. FAC Involver was $8.99, it's down to $5.99. Phaser was $5.99 and it's down to $3.99. Be sure to check those apps out, great apps as well. We've got Patterning 2 Drum Machine, which was $19.99 down to $14.99. Camelot Pro by Audio Modeling was $28.99 and it's down to $19.99. Feeling like Black Friday all over again, reading off all those apps. So yes, go do more damage to that already depleted bank account of yours and grab all of the apps that you can grab before Apple hits you with the tab. And with that said, we're about to get up out of here. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest news, tips, tricks, sales, beats, reviews, updates, and more. And be sure to check out some of the best kits available for iOS at iPadBeatMaking.com. Oh, and be sure to check out the Sensomorph overlay template that we have. It'll be free until the end of the year. If you are using Cubase's, it's at iPadBeatMaking.com. We'll also leave a link in the description. And with that said, happy holidays, everybody. Stay safe, stay happy, stay prosperous. It's iPadBeatMaking.com. Peace.